Alrighty, folks, welcome back to no, 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 yes, which is what I'm going to be saying if all of the world's chaos ever resolves itself at some point in the future. I really hope that happens. Wash your hands. This video brought to you by social distancing and self-quarantining and shelter in place and whatever the policy is in your area. Let's start off with number 19. Good Samaritan cleans up after littering law-breaking nuts. Ah, yeah, dude, we got some idiots in cars cross-posting. Nice. Wait, really? Really? I guess it would make sense that somebody who passes on the right side and the shoulder also would do that. At least they're consistent with their behavior. I, really? What, they, the, and then out of the other side of the car? Oh my god. And then they're gonna pass on the shoulder? Jesus Christ. Where's the convenient cop when you need them? What a nice individual. This person also clearly is the one who leaves their fast food bag next to their car so that you just, you arrive at the parking space later and you just see a fast food bag like in between the parking spaces. You're like, oh yeah, that cool no that makes sense absolutely i mean why wouldn't you leave your trash right there next to your car it totally makes sense i can't understand why anyone would actually i don't know bring a bag in their car so that they could put it there or walk to the trash can sniff out it is this i wonder if this is like a. oh okay oh my god Sorry, this post has been removed the moderate by the moderators of next fortune level. I like how every, almost every post we've seen so far was removed or deleted or something like that, but it works! And no, 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 yes. At least the, the police were, you know, smiley about it instead of getting angry. <laughs> Not much margin for error on this landing. This is gonna be like the... Uh, what is it, St. Martin? That's where the airport is, where the planes fly right over the beach where everybody is. Well, probably not much now, because I don't think there's much in the way of commercial travel, but... Wait, are you landing on sand? You're landing on the beach? I mean, yeah, that that's... So that's the runway. All right. Wait, and then there's like... Oh, God, there's a pile of seaweed. Isn't that a... Pro okay, it's not a problem. Oh, my God. What if, like, seaweed got caught up in the propeller? That would ruin everything. How scared is every pilot landing there for the first time? I feel like I don't care how good you are, how many hours you've got under you. You're basically making an emergency landing, except it's planned. Dude, I'd be, I'd be pooping myself as a passenger on that plane. I'd get on it not realizing what we're landing on at the destination, and then I'd see us, like, descending really close and be like, what are you, where's the runway? What are we, where are we landing here? Why are you getting so close to the ground? Don't you need to get to the airport? I'd be like, no, we're landing here. I'd be like, okay, can I just, can I call my mom real quick? Just say her, say my goodbye? Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's a very cute cat. <laughs> this is my favorite thing. <laughs> I can't <laughs> I can see how the cat would be absolutely horrified. What the heck is coming at my head? Am I about to be turned into like a smoothie or something? Jesus, man. Massager, clearly written on the top of it. Can't you read, cat? Can't you read that it's a massager? Aren't you happy you didn't swat it away now and scratch the hand that was about to massage you? No, 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 no. Whew. Don't, don't, don't do, don't do it. Okay, it actually, it knows to, to wait. Are you just a super duper smart deer? It knows to wait for the car to stop at the crosswalk? Wow, people. Not very respectful of this deer trying to cross the street. Nice, dude. <laughs> just waltzes. You gotta sniff the asphalt, you know, get a good whiff of that. Make sure we're not in any conflicting territory here. Okay, come on, have a little bit of urgency, will ya? That's the worst part, man. Is that sometimes you're nice, and you'll stop at the pedestrian crossing if it's like, 
there's not really going to be a way for any uh, any breaks in the cars to happen. And then they just go real slowly across. And it's like, you're a young, healthy individual. Have a sense of urgency, okay? Don't just stroll as slowly as possible. Or step out in front of my car and then walk super slowly. At least run across the road. The goal is to not obstruct the flow of traffic, okay? Very intelligent, though, waiting for it. Forget about the break. Oopsie daisies. Oh, are you gonna say, oh God, is the door locked too? Dang! That dive. See, I think she, was she trying to reach in and get the door unlocked? She's probably trying to reach in and get the door unlocked rather than the police guy just jumped in there, yanked the handbrake. Good thing that it had an actual handbrake to yank. Cause so many cars these days have electronic handbrakes that can only actually be operated while the car is on. So after you, uh, after you get out, you'd have no chance. But this seems like a bad idea. Never mind. Double combo. What do you, what have you lit? I, why do I feel like I've seen this before? But also it's still great. What did they, what did they light in there? What is, what's inside the bottle? What, what, is, what kind of delayed explosion is there when you light a vapor inside? Is that, what did they do? Oh, he lights a firecracker and tosses it into the bottle right before. Okay, that makes sense. I'm like, what kind of witchcraft? Slow burning vapor fuse inside of a bottle? This is crazy. Yeah, I, I kind of expected it is the flare up here just because of the title, but it's still very impressive. No oh, short, oh short. Whoa. You are so lucky that even with the slip, you managed to be safe. Wow. Well, <laughs> your dog was just like, you know, you've been a good owner and all, but I'm a go now. <laughs> so much for man's best friend. Your dog just like left you in the dust. Like, peace out. I'll let you handle this one on your own. I'm not gonna deal with it, dude. Oh, Great split second reaction. Okay, all right, everything's fine. Or not fine. This is really not what I expected. I thought that car was just like, someone wasn't gonna hit the brake and it was gonna go right into the back of the car, just as she, dang, that was a dive though. That was a real dive. I mean, I'm, I'm happy that the thief there just was like not worth and ran back into the car. They weren't looking for a fight. So thank goodness they didn't actually resort to violence because that's totally what I thought was gonna happen. I'm relieved on that one. I guess uh, this is a reason perhaps to not leave your key in the ignition. Even if your car is not running, obviously you turn it off and you get gas, but don't leave the key in the ignition because you never know. You never know if somebody is gonna do something like this. It sucks to have to be aware of, but better to just hold it in your pocket because that way if it's someone who's not looking for violence, then they're not gonna be able to snag your car. Well, this is just an overdose of anxiety. Close as it can, oh God. Oh my God, even his chin didn't hit. As someone who has done many backflips in their life, can I please give everybody a public service announcement? If you're gonna do a backflip off of a hard ledge into a soft area, just make sure that you jump, give yourself backwards momentum, all right? If you're doing it standing in place, on flat ground, it doesn't really matter. If you get the rotation, that's all that counts. If you're trying, if you're making sure that you get into something, oh God, just please jump backwards. Not today. Okay, and now they're just gonna continue. All right, not a problem, just keep it on going. You know, I never really considered the fact that at one point, propeller planes had to land on aircraft carriers. Is that a normal thing? I guess propeller planes are usually going slower than jets though, right? So, but that looks like, that looks like a big boy. Also, don't they usually have some cables in place on the decks of aircraft carriers? I don't know, man. 
I'm just, I don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to flying planes and landing on aircraft carriers and stuff. That just doesn't seem like the typical plane that lands on an aircraft carrier is all I'm saying. But that said, I just, the whole freaking thing about taking off and landing on an aircraft carrier is just wild to me. It's so, so terrifying. Oh God, no, not the candle. He literally just put the candle out, LMAO. He just wanted to smell that glorious, burnt out candle smell. Maybe the other cat just farted. He's like, okay, we gotta light a match up in here. And then, you know, you gotta extinguish it and then the smoke. Why is the smell of an extinguished candle so nice? Smoke in large quantities, like coming off a campfire is not all that great. It's like, let's, I wanna be on the opposite side. The wind can blow it away from me. But this is a candle? Look at the, he's just inhaling that. He's like, yeah. Oh, it's a good smell. <laughs> it's a real good smell. Stop farting. Okay, black and white cat, stop farting. This is ridiculous. Even I'm too scared to do that. I don't want to put my hand in the candle. When people do the finger lick and, and squeeze to put out the flame, I'm like, no, no. I'll just, I'll just blow on it. Mechanic showing great reflexes during a pit stop. That was kind of, this is a little bit close for comfort. Oh, if he hadn't made that jump, he, he definitely would have been facing out the leg injury right there. Oh my God, dude. I'm always amazed at how little there are people running into each other, car on car collisions when it comes to the pits. Um, like, at least it seems like there's usually some safety precautions when it comes to the people in there, but just people exit the instant that, that they're given the green light by their, the, the person, like, in front of them, and sometimes they're, like, right next to a car, and they're, like, sort of out of each other's ways and stuff like that, and the pits in F1 are, like, what, two, three seconds long if it's done right, and then they'll just, they go immediately. I thought he was gonna break his neck there. Oh, you're gonna back. Oh. All right. Of all the things I expected to happen when this started, this is not it. No, I thought he was gonna try to like jump straight onto the ball and do a backflip off, and then it was gonna slip. I. How did he? From a de. What? From like a a decline. Did a gainer with extra hang time to land on the and then was that a tr was that triple it was three rotations this was me learning to backflip on my mom's bed except i was just you know terrified and just kind of doing what i literally did learn it on my mom's bed she was out of the house and i was like you know queen size bed seems like a pretty good place for me to learn how to get over my fear of going backwards and i just i did it at the top for the last month, how much will this cost? Was this... Was this all the person filming? Like, alright, cool. So it's gotten stuck three times now. Let's try it number four and hope I've not wasted all of my money. It, it, <laughs> it's going again. At the end of the day, you're gonna have paid for all of these. It's just gonna be a climactic finale. You know what? This is the sunk cost fallacy. I've already done this much. It can't get any worse, right? Here we go. Let's let's do it again. It's just gonna create a conveyor belt and it's gonna flip up into the one up top. <laughs> it's just gonna... The bottom is just gonna start passing it into the one above and it's gonna create an infinite loop. It never goes anywhere. This is impressive. Okay, I need to... I need to see this play out. How far does it go? Oh my god, it's still going. And then what's gonna happen is it's gonna drop, and because there's so many in there, it's just gonna get caught between the food and the glass, and it's not gonna go anywhere. All right, come on, one more. This is it! This is the moment of truth, please. And then do we get to see his credit card statement after the fact for how much this actually cost? 
Is this the mat? This is the magic one! It took ejecting every single one of the popcorns from the thing, but at least now you have it for the entire office. That was the true no, 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 yes, because I think we saw four attempts there. Thanks for tuning in to this month's no, 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 yes. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Make sure to like if you like. Check out the playlist if you want to catch more. No, 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 yes. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Go wash your hands, and I'll see you next time.